Hey, this is Joe Hafter from Breakthrough Basketball. Anyone who wants to score more points know they must do one important thing, and that's develop a quicker shot. You might be able to knock down shots playing horse or just shooting around some baskets, but it does not matter how great you shoot in practice if you can't get your shot off in games. Defenders get better and better as you move up in levels. You typically just have a split second to shoot the ball. Coach Jim Huber has worked with basketball players from every level, from youth to the NBA. And today he's going to show you five drills that can get your shot off quicker and give you more scoring opportunities. First, Coach Huber demonstrates three drills that help you quicken your ball pickups. Then he demonstrates two catch and shoot drills that help quicken your release. Now let's follow along with Coach Huber as he demonstrates how to get a quicker shot. So now to progress in our one dribble pull ups, the first thing we'll do is what we call ball pickups. It's a challenge sometimes for individuals to pick the ball up off the bounce and rise up into a shot. So we're gonna work on this and get them used to doing it. The other thing is this drill is like, we're acting like we already beat the primary defender. So if like, you know, I beat the primary defender, Kelvin's guarding me and I beat that primary defender, now I'm coming into right into my shot. So we're gonna flow right into that, okay? Now the key for doing this is I wanna make sure when Kelvin is doing this, he wants his hips down and back right he's ready to go like he's dribbling he's got his hips down and back he's going to smash the ball hard to the ground don't dribble it lightly smashing it, i take my arm it's almost like taking lock my elbow out, smashing the ball through the ground i don't care if he loses the ball try to lose the ball i want him to quickly get the ball to his hands the harder he dribbles the quicker his feet will get the quicker his hands will get okay so i'm gonna quicken it up so what he's going to do that is he'll do that and we call it a dribble hop pop i'm going to have him hop on these now, somebody might have it where they go dribble, one, two, step, they can work on it. For this drill right here, again, for the one, two, step people, you go dribble, one, two, step. You could do that. Okay, we're just going to go dribble, hop, pop in this one, okay? When he does it, so it's going to be dribble, hop, pop, and he's going to pop the ball, flow right in the shot. He's right in the tuck set to go. Now, when he dribbles in his weak hand, he is a left-handed in his opposite hand. So when you dribble in your right hand, you got to dribble, and you're not going to come across or cross the ball over, you're gonna rip the ball across. So I'm gonna bring the ball across right into my strong hand to flow right in my shot, okay? All right, so we're gonna work on this drill, show you the progressions that we go through to help him to get really effective on the base of shooting off the dribble. So now what Kelvin's gonna do, we're gonna start out the progression is he's, he's left-handed. So he's gonna dribble with his left hand, which is strong hand. He's gonna smash dribble it twice. He's gonna hop, pop, and rise right up into a shot, okay? So he's gonna do it again, hard smash dribble, hop, hop. And what I would tell people what Kelvin's doing a good job, he has his eyes up. Some people will do this and they'll have their eyes down when they're doing it. I want eyes up when you're dribbling the basketball so you can identify again, vision of the floor, but you can identify the rim, your target, or what you're shooting at early. Now he's gonna go weak hand, which is gonna be his right hand. Dribble hard, pulls it across, right in the shot. Smash dribble, hard dribble, hop, pop. Good, flows right into it. Doing it again, dribble, dribble, hop, pop, flow. Good. Now he's going to take it and he's going to now go dribble in his strong hand, but he's gonna make a dribble move. So he's gonna one dribble, change direction. It'd be a crossover, it could be between the legs, it'd be behind the back. You might tell them what they're doing. I'm gonna have Kelvin mix it up in this video. I'm gonna tell him you can go between the legs, behind the back, uh, crossovers, just mix it up. So he's gonna one dribble, he's gonna change direction, and now he's gonna, when he changes, it's gonna back to his weak hand, so he's gotta bring it back over to his strong hand in the shot. Go ahead, you ready? Dribble, change direction, hop, pop. Again, dribble, hop, pop. Again, dribble, change directions. You might mix it up. The only way you're gonna get better is making mistakes on the floor. Get outside your comfort zone, so that way you're dribbling hard, you're developing quick hands. Now he's gonna go, you're gonna dribble one dribble with your weak hand and go change direction. So you're gonna dribble, change direction, right in the shot. Now all I want you to do is go one dribble, one dribble, one dribble, bam. There you go, good, hop, pop. So again, good, hard dribble, quick hands on your change direction, flows right in the shot. All right, now we call this the Steph Curry quick dribble pickup drill. And what this is gonna help you with is you'll find kids when they go into dribble pickup, they'll be slow with their dribble, kind of slow with their feet, and we gotta quicken them up. So one way to do that is, what we're gonna have is a defender. So 
Kelvin's going to have the basketball, and we're going to tell him like he have his hips down on the back. He's ready to smash the ball to the ground quick, eyes up, and stab him his feet in a shot. And I'm going to sit there as a defender. I'm going to take my hand by his chest, and I'm going to turn and move a little bit forward, and I'm going to be in a stance here. When he dribbles the basketball, when I hear that sound, I'm going to turn and try to block his shot. And he's got to get his shot off quick. Otherwise, I'm going to block it, right? So it makes him have a quick release off the dribble. And you could also, as you go, you can sit there and take it, whereas you can adjust how far you move up and how far you move back. So with Kelvin, I might move further up to him to make it, just say there, Kelvin, to make it more challenging for him. So I might just here, turn in the spot, he goes, turn, contest. So again, it's just a drill that you can do. If a kid's not getting a shot off quick enough, you're gonna block it. So it gives them an understanding is I gotta be quicker. I gotta quicken my dribble, I gotta prepare earlier, I gotta stab my feet, rise quickly into my shot. So it's a good little drill you can work with. If you have partners that can switch up after so, so many shots, or I could take it and go get the rebound and he could come, and then we're doing the same thing and we're just going back and forth. So work on the drill, be quick off the dribble so you can shoot an uncontested shot and have more success. Now what's gonna happen on this drill is you would have five lines on the court. You'd have like left baseline, right baseline, you'd have right wing, you'd have the middle where Michael's at, and you would have left wing. Now what happens is this, is you're gonna have a passer and you'll have a shooter. Now, Mike is gonna be, he's gonna start at the rim, he's gonna take a big step back. So every spot back, there's gonna be five spots. And every spot back will almost be four feet back. It'd be like four feet, eight feet, 12 feet. It'd be like, if he goes like Mike, it'll be like eight feet. It'd be almost like 12 feet, 16 feet, almost like 20 feet, 19, nine, whatever. So it's about four feet that you're gonna advance. But what Michael has to do is he has to make, every time he makes a shot, he gets the advance back. If he makes a second shot, he advances back. If he makes a third, he advances back. Anytime he misses a shot within the line, he's gotta go back to the first spot. The only way he can advance past this line is because he's got to make five in a row. Once he makes five in a row, he can go to another spot. And then he can start from that spot, say he's from the wing, and he makes the first one. He steps back to the second one, he hits that. And then say he misses, right, he's flat, he misses that, that third one. He's got to go back to the first spot in that line, not the first spot from where he started. Okay, he's already achieved that line. So you're trying to get as many lines as you can within two minutes is what you're trying to do, okay? Now, as a passer, make sure you're throwing good passes right to his hands. He should be giving me a target. And make sure as a rebounder, you're going chasing down a rebound, getting it back to him as quick as possible so they're getting many shots as they can, all right? Now, what I want Michael to do is I want him to prepare early before he receives the ball. So he should have his hips down, hands showing, ball in there, feet in there, ready to shoot the basketball. So throw him a pass, he's gonna catch it. Getting prepared really good. Ball in there, feet in there, stepping in. You know. Once your feet set when the ball hits your hands. Make sure again, going up and forward, shooting it up, extending. So Mike, as he's going back in the drill, he kind of like goes a little back further, which is fine. He kind of gets the four spots. Younger kids, what you might do is you might only give them four spots. Maybe it's like four feet, eight feet, almost like 12 feet, and it's about 16, and that's the farthest they go. But again, what you want to work on is making sure they're getting their feet prepared before the ball comes for working on a quick shot. They can also do this on their own if they want. They can go to a basket. They can step back, right, be ready. They can throw it out themselves. They can sit there and step in their shot and they can shoot it. And then they can go back to the next spot. They can throw it again. Say it's a person, it's a hot person. They can step in and shoot it. And they can do the same thing without having a passer. If they wanted to do the drill, they might give themselves a little more time in two minutes since they don't have like a rebound or passer. Maybe it's three or four minutes of seeing how far they can get, uh, how many lines they can get within that time frame. Um, and again, you want to work on being quick, hands, quick feet, so you develop a quick release, preparing early before you shoot the basketball. 
This drill we call it the Kentucky Contested Shot Drill. Now we're gonna have five spots. So you have right corner, right wing, the middle, top of the key, left wing, left corner. For the sake of the drill, we're just gonna focus on this side of the floor. But what I'm gonna do is, how this works is, Kelvin has the basketball, he's underneath the basket at the net. Nick is at the three point line. So Kelvin is gonna throw a pass on a line, on target on time. He's not throwing a lollipop pass, not a pass like this, right? He's not like rolling the ball to him, not throwing a bounce pass. He's not like running out and then throwing it to him. He's gotta throw a pass on a line underneath the net and then he sprints out. And he's gonna sprint out and he's gonna try to make it difficult for Nick to score now you can make it to where they can leave their feet and try to block a shot and they can get points for it. I don't do that as much at times. I don't want people leaving their feet and landing on somebody's ankle and then all of a sudden they're out. So I just have them, they're gonna sprint hard as they can. They're gonna try to contest their shot and stand down to make it difficult for them, right? Make a game like there. Now after Nick shoots it, make or miss, I don't care where it's at, he's gotta sprint his butt, he's gotta get the basketball and it'd be great, you can dribble a basketball back or sprint back, but if you wanna dribble, work on dribbling while you're doing it. And then I'm gonna throw the ball out and we're gonna go back and forth, okay? The first person in this drill, you can do it a time drill. You can say, okay, we're gonna do it for a minute from here, the right, a minute from the wing, a minute from the top, and we stop. Right now, we're just gonna do, hey, how many points you get. So whoever gets the first two baskets at a spot, gets two points, we're gonna go to the next one. So we're gonna go, right baseline to the right wing to the top of the key and then we're going to stop after they get two from each one person gets two from that spot you ready go let's go so again they got to prepare early throwing a good pass on target on time stepping in their shot being ready to catch and shoot this is not an easy drill it's a great conditioning drill but i'm telling you you have to load up early and you got to develop a quick release this is game like The only thing that might not be as game-like is you're getting most of your passes coming underneath the basket, and that'd be more a rebound kick. So we're moving up, Kelvin. That'd be like a rebound, offense rebound kick out, maybe a post, kicking out a double team. So you gotta go get it. I was trying to help Kelvin out. So again, great conditioning drill. Shooting them when your legs are tired. Working on defensively. Like getting out to a shooter quick. And it's a competitive drill. People get into it. Like I said, you could have like winners go against each other at different baskets throughout the week. You could have it to where you have it to where like you have a championship round for the week. So you got one to one. Game time winner. Whether it's high school, college, or the NBA, all great scorers have a quick release. So make sure you follow Coach Huber's advice and always include drills in your workouts that help quicken your release. If you want more great drills, click on the link below. Click the like button below and let us know if you liked the video. And leave a comment telling us what moves you want us to break down for you next. Thanks for watching.